सो बेटा ऑलवेज इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक मेथड दिस मेथड इज यूज टू प्रिपेयर अगेन फ्रॉम एक्वर सोल्यूशन ऑफ सोडियम सॉल्ट ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड वेन वी यूज सोडियम सॉल्ट ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड एक्वर सोल्यूशन ऑफ इट वेन इट इज लेक्टलाइज इट वी गेट एल्केन एंड दिस एल्केन इज फॉर्म एट एनोड so what is the reaction mechanism you know when sodium salt of carboxylic acid sodium salt of carboxylic acid it is in aqua solution we have these anions in water so anions and water these are the components of the solution right <coughs> now when we start electrolyzing it you know at anode which reaction takes place at anode reduction or oxidation reduction very well it is actually at anode oxidation takes place at anode oxidation takes place oxidation takes place right right now tell me if we do electrolysis mm. Mm. what type of reaction takes place it is nucleophilic electrophilic or free radical mm. beta it is free radical reaction free radical reaction helper helper high temperature electricity light peroxide mm. electrolysis yeah. or radical reaction yeah. if they are present then free radical reaction Takes place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, at anode, oxidation takes place. So there is a competition between water and this anion, which one loses electron. So out of these two, this anion lose electron. Yes. Anion loses electron. electron. So, so when it lose one electron, what would we get? This free radical. As I said, as it is electrolysis reaction, so we get free radical. And when a free radical is formed, it cleaves the other bond by homolysis. Whatever reaction takes place, homolysis. homolysis. So this electron and electron on this side. In this way. we get double bond yes double bond between carbon and oxygen, oxygen. already there is double bond one double bond c double bond o c double bond o what is that carbon dioxide mm. so we get carbon dioxide so at anode we get alkyl free radical and carbon dioxide but you know alkyl free radical is highly unstable so it combined with another alkyl free radical and we get alkene so alkene is formed with double number of carbon atom but at the same time two carbons are removed in the form of carbon dioxide so if a mol alkyl sodium salt of carboxylic acid has n carbons then how many carbons are present in the alkene yes when 2n minus 2 right 2n minus 2 2 because these are the two carbons so al alkene with 2n minus 2 carbons Okay, so now as we need two alkyl free radicals to get one alkene, that means two molecules of this carbonyl ion loses two electrons to give two carboxyl free radicals to give two alkyl free radicals and two carbon dioxide. That's why we use two molecules of this. Right now. at cathode at cathode 
there's a competition between H2O and Na+. You know, sodium is highly electropositive. It can lose electron, form sodium positive. It cannot gain electron easily. So, there is a competition between these two. So, H2O will gain electron. So, you know, H2O if gain electron, which part gains electron? H2 has two parts, H plus and OH negative. H plus and OH negative. So H plus gains electron or OH negative? H plus. Very good. H plus. H plus will gain electron. So we get OH negative as such along with hydrogen as a free radical. Because H plus when gain one electron, we get hydrogen free radical. Free radical. So this hydrogen free radical again unstable. Mm -hmm. It combined with another free radical just like this. So we get H2. H free radical combined with H free radical and the two form H2 gas. At cathode, at anode, we get carbon dioxide gas. At cathode, we get H2 gas. Right? Now, that means we need two water molecules, two electrons, so that we get two hydrogen free radicals. Now, what is left in the solution? OH negative one here and sodium ions. So in solution, yes, we have two Na plus and two OH negative. They are left in the solution. That means overall what is that? That is NaOH. So in this way, these two are formed at anode at anode. And H2 is formed at cathode. cathode. And here is the solution. So overall solution is basic. Sodium acetate. We electrolyze by the same method. So tell me, what is the product form? It has CH3, just like R. What is R here? C C C H3. C H3. R is CH3. When CH3 free radical is formed, that combined with another free radical, keep in mind mechanism. That methyl is formed as free radical. Alkyl is formed as free radical. So there is a formation of CH3, CH3, C2, H6. Good. So along with that, there is two molecules of carbon dioxide, H2 gas, along with NaOH. Two molecules of NaOH. Yes, tell me where this gas is formed. H2 gas. Cathode. Very good. And carbon dioxide gas. Anode. Anode. Now, if we have this one, this is ex extension of the same concept. <laughs> there is no need of two molecules now, because in the same molecule there are two CO and A. Now, what is the product? Very good. It is C2H4 because you know C1 is removed, so we get this free radical. Again, next C C1 is removed, we get this next free radical. Now free radicals are adjacent to each other. Clear? There is no need of another free radical because already two free radicals are there side by side, so they combine with each other. We get ethene as the product along with carbon dioxide, hydrogen gas, and NH. If I have